Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Impossible Balls. This one is the Teriyaki Impossible Chicken made from plants. It is 9 ounces or 255 grams for the meal. Um, it is, uh, we bought this at Walmart. It was $5.98, so not cheap, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. The bowl, the whole bowl is 400 calories, and there's your other info for you. So, yeah, Impossible made from plants. So, Cheat on meat. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Okay. So uh, we're going to cook from frozen, which is what this is. Um, cut a one inch slit in the film, microwave in half for two minutes, carefully remove the film, mix thoroughly, and then microwave for an additional 30 seconds to check that the contents are cooked. Let it set for one minute. So we're going to do two minutes, remove the film completely, do it for another 30 seconds without the film, and then uh, that's it. So um, see if there's anything else I need to read on here. No. That's pretty much it. Okay. So it does have a pull tab, which is always nice. Keeps you from getting paper cuts. There's their fake chicken and it looks like pineapples or something in there. So I'm going to uh, get a slit cut in this to vent it and uh, I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, right, so here it is out of the microwave. It does look like a little piece of the chicken. I mean, they did make it look pretty, um, pretty convincing. Um, pineapple, there's a big old hunk of pineapple in here. How big the thing is. I'll break it up a little bit. So anyway, yeah, two two big hunks and a smaller hunk of pineapple. But yeah, the chicken does look. I mean, the the fake chicken, the faux chicken, looks like looks like chicken. Um, looking at it, I don't know that you would ever know there was any different. The texture feels a little softer um, when you stick your fork in it. It doesn't feel as um, you know there's there's layers to chicken. This doesn't feel like it has layers, but it might. We'll see. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute, and I'll be back. All right, so I didn't really do anything, just carried it over here. Um, I did break one of the pieces of pineapple into smaller pieces, just so it's a little easier to eat. Let me scoop up some of the rice. It's still steaming, so it's still pretty hot. It's definitely a sweet teriyaki. Um, the soy sauce, usually there's a soy kind of flavor come through. This has a little bit of that soy flavor, um, but not real strong. I'm trying to take it, eat it without the, the faux chicken, the impossible chicken. Flavor-wise, the sauce is not bad. I'm trying to, like I said, trying to try to just taste the, the flavors of the sauce. It's good. Now for the impossible chicken. If it doesn't fall on my fork. It has a texture very similar to chicken. It's um it has kind of a dense texture. It doesn't have those nice like it's almost like a processed chicken. It's firm, but it doesn't have like the the layers when you bite through chicken, you know, you have these, you can pull it apart and you have these little layers. You don't really have that with this. Um, and I wouldn't expect you to, but yeah, it does kind of have that dense processed chicken kind of texture. So if you don't mind that, I don't know that you would even know the difference. You don't get a chicken flavor, but I don't know that you would anyway. Even if this was real chicken, um, with all the sauce and the sweetness going on, I don't know that you would ever taste chicken in it anyway. The texture might be a little bit different when you're eating it, but... If you were to just hand this to someone and say, hey, try this out and see what you think, I think they would eat it. I don't know that they would know it was not chicken, that it was impossible chicken. Um, I don't know that they would know or not. It, it looks pretty similar to chicken. It has a texture very similar to processed like chicken. And um, yeah, the flavors are fine because it's covered up with sauce. So I really can't taste the chicken anyway. There's no way for me to even um, get a piece that doesn't have sauce on it to try it. So I'm, I'm trying it as it is. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's probably not something that I would buy all the time because I think it's a little sweet for me, not because of the, it's an impossible chicken. That's not what's throwing me off at all. It's just very sweet for me. It's almost like eating raw pineapple. That's how sweet it is. Even, even if you don't get a hunk of pineapple, it's still very sweet like a pineapple. Um, this one still is a four out of five for me. It's definitely good. It has a good flavor to it. You just have to have like that sweeter, um, that really sweet teriyaki with a little less of the soy sauce flavor, which I like a little bit more of the soy than the sweet. But um, yeah, it's still good. Four out of five for me. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.